Hey students, welcome back to Art with Miss Looney. Today we are going to be practicing some 3D paper techniques, okay? We're going to be learning how to kind of make sculptural shapes out of paper. We're going to be using this for our Yoyoi Kusama inspired project. So what we're going to do is learn how to create these and then next class we're going to apply these to our art project. I wonder if you can think about what we're going to be doing. Today we're going to learn about four different paper techniques, okay? You are going to have a couple pieces of paper at your table today. This is just practice. We're not gluing anything today. This is just for us to be prepared for next class. What I'm going to go ahead and do is get the long piece of paper. It doesn't matter which one you use. We're going to learn about an arch. If you think about what an arch is, it's a shape that kind of goes over like that, kind of like a rainbow. That's an arch. In order to make that same shape with paper, what we're going to do is take a long piece of paper like this. See how I can make that shape? Then you're going to fold tabs on the inside. These are going to make the shapes pop out on our paper. So from the side, this is what you should see. This is what you should see, okay? And then we'll glue that down on our paper and it will look like it's popping up. This is an arch. Go ahead and try that. The next shape that we're going to create with paper is a loop, okay? The loop, we are going to use a larger piece of paper, okay? To make a loop, what you're going to do is take your paper and you're just going to push it like this. Kind of looks like a teardrop shape from the top. And then we would glue right here and hold it down. That's how you make a loop. Why don't you go ahead and try that? The next shape we are going to make is a cylinder. Okay? A cylinder is like the shape of a soda can, of a bottle, okay? So what you're going to do is take your paper, you're gonna kind of curl it in like this, and then put this side on top and hold that in, and you have a cylinder, okay? Why don't you go ahead and try and make that cylinder? Okay, students, this is our last one you guys are going to learn how to create a curl. A curl is when you take a pen or pencil, something that's kind of thin and round, okay? You're going to put it towards the bottom of your paper and put the bottom of your paper, roll that over, and then you're just gonna keep rolling this up. Sometimes it's hard to keep it straight so just move it as much as you need and keep rolling it and rolling it. And once you get to the top, I like to kind of roll it back and forth in my hands like this so I know it's creasing really well. Then I'll take the drawing utensil, pen, or pencil out. I'll let go. And then I kind of have a cylinder, right? A small cylinder. What I'll do is pull that a little. And look at that. I got a curl. Go ahead and try that at your table. Okay, students, good job. Now is your time to kind of experiment and practice with the paper. See what else you can make. What other types of forms can you make? Just remember not to rip the paper. Take your time and don't use any scissors either. All right, good luck.